Okay, problem number seven. We have the height of a swimmer's dive off a 10-foot platform into a diving pool is modeled by the equation y equals 2x squared minus 12x plus 10, where x represents the number of seconds since the swimmer left the diving board, and y represents the number of feet above or below the water surface, because obviously he's going to dive, and then he's going to go under the water, and it's going to come back out. Okay, it says, what is the farthest depth below the water surface that the swimmer will reach? So in other words, we have a picture that sort of looks like this. You have the x or the y-axis, the x-axis, and we have up here 10 feet, right? And then we have the swimmer's trajectory, which is going to look something like this. And it's going to peek out, and then it's going to come back up. It's going to be a parabola, basically. And we want to find what the vertex is. We want to find the minimum point down here, whatever that might be, this, uh, this lowest possible point. That's what we're looking for. Okay. If you have a graphing calculator, you would simply graph 2x squared minus 12x plus 10, and you would get a picture that looks something like this. <coughs> and if you notice here, there's 10. Okay, we trace it down, we trace it down, we trace it down, until we get to 8 feet. So it's right here. 8 feet is the minimum depth that the swimmer will reach. And of course, that's the answer. Okay, now if you wanted to do this uh, without a calculator, that's entirely possible. And the strategy would be to find the x-intercepts, find the midpoint of the x-intercepts, that would be here, right? And then go straight down, and that would tell you uh, exactly what the y-coordinate is. So you would find this x-coordinate of the midpoint between the, the, um, the x-intercepts and then go straight down. That would tell you the y-coordinate. So we would solve this equation to do this without a calculator. 2x squared minus 12x plus 10. And of course, we want that to equal 0. So we divide everything here by 2. And we would get 0 equals x squared minus 6x plus 5. This factors very nicely. 0 equals, and then I always draw the brackets first, the parentheses first is going to be x and x. That gives us the x squared. Now we need two numbers that multiply to positive 5 that add to negative 6. So the only numbers that multiply to positive 5, integers that multiply to negative 5, five are 5 and 1. And we have a negative and a negative, because negative 5 is negative 1 is positive 5. Negative 5x, negative x gives us uh, negative 6x. Okay, so that tells us the intercepts are at the coordinate x equals 5 and x equals 1. So we know that these points here are 1 and 5. And to find the uh, midpoint of them, to find the average of them, you take 5 plus 1 divided by 2. And that, of course, gives you 3. Right? So this point here, the one that we're looking for, this is x equals 3. Oops. x equals 3. Right? Now we just take x equals 3 and put it, in, put it back into the equation. So when x equals 3, we have 2 times 3 squared uh, minus 12 times 3 plus 10. Okay, that's uh, 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18 minus 12 times 3 is 36 plus 10. Okay, so we have, let's see, that is going to be 28 minus 36, but I'll do 36 minus 28 and then just flip the sign. That turns into a 2. That's 16. We have 8, and that's 0. So the answer here is going to be negative 8, but um, we're flipping the sign because we just care about that it's 8 feet below the water. So there again, you have the answer, 8 feet. All right, next up is problem number eight.